Casey. It's Jacqueline over at Steamboat Motors. We're going to do a quick walk around. I have a shadow behind me. Um, Clayton's going to watch how we do these videos. Um, and we're just going to go over just details, condition, um, all the pros and cons on the truck for you. Um, this one is a 2019 Chevy Duramax. It is the high country, so it is going to be beautiful. Um, it only has 44,000 miles on it. Um, great tires. Um, on the exterior here, we're going to notice it has all the chrome. So um, that means aluminum wheels. Um, all your embleming is chromed out. Your mirrors right around the windows, door handles. So that gives it a nice classy look. Um, we also have um, all your accents of black here in the back um, with your emblem of Chevy. Um, you got your bed steps high country. It does have that tonneau cover, which is really nice. Um, it looks like this one's the roll up. Um, or maybe it's the folding. It's a folding. It's a trifold, um, which is actually my favorite. Um, it has the bed liner. Okay. So you're all squared away here in the back. Um, so that looks good. And the power lift gate. Um, so it's super lightweight. I can do it with my left arm. Looks like the exhaust is bigger than stock so it's going to be loud and nice and um, there are a couple little dings um there is a little dent that i just showed you there um but otherwise everything on this vehicle looks fantastic once we get into the inside here you're going to see that they loved it um so there is this mocha brown um interior it does have a light roof which makes it just feel a little bit more open you got those all weather mats a um, couple storage containers there's a plug-in outlet right here um for you to plug your stuff in this lifts up for your storage bin which is really cool um it kind of has a flat floor floorboard um, but my thing with chevy is these clip in so no dirt can get in um okay we're gonna go ahead and get in the front i'm gonna turn it on here in a second um you got those boise um speaker system so it's gonna sound good and the key with my amigo here um with it being the duramax we're gonna let the glow plugs warm up a little bit even though it's been started all right so this thing is loaded. We'll start here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You have your trailer brake controller, okay? Your four-wheel drive system. This is gonna be a shift on the fly from two to four high. Four low is accessible under 10 miles an hour. You do have that locking um, axle ratio and automatic lights, okay? Um, we have our wiper blade stuff there. <clears throat> On the left hand side of the steering wheel here we've got all of our um, cruise control options we are going to see that there's a heated steering wheel here um, as well as that uh, forward collision assist i think is what that is okay and then on the right hand side we have all the controls for your voice recognition um, phone controls and then um, the display options here once we get into your center console it looks so nice um, we've got heated seats um, and air conditioned seats, which this is the first time in my life I've used air conditioned seats. Those are so nice. Um, and then we also have in your touchscreen display um, all of your uh, radio stations. You got Sirius XM, FM, and AM radio. Um, it looks like it does have a navigation system in this vehicle, um, which is really nice because not all have that. Um, obviously, Bluetooth, stuff like that. Um, CD player. Your home button is going to show us everything that it has, even has weather, fancy. Um, dual climate controls so you guys don't have to fight over um, climate. Um, all of your air controls, fan control is here. We got rear defrost, that's a must up here. Um, your foot pedals are adjustable for short people like me. Um, traction control, bed light, parking sensors, which you're always going to want on unless you're backing up to um, a trailer. Um, it looks like it's loaded with the lane keeping assist, so it is upgraded um, on the safety features. That's nice. Um, and then it also has that exhaust brake, which is my absolute favorite thing in any diesel pickup. Um, all of these are hidden, really casually, um, but there's all your plug-in outlets in case you need to plug like 10 things in at a time. Um, a nice little stash spot for your phone, 
Um, good little trash spot. Oh, it looks like it has a wireless charger. That's fancy. Humongous. You can fit a baby in the center console. It's awesome. And a couple more plug-in outlets. I don't know why you need so many plug-ins, but that's good. Um, so yeah, everything looks great. Oh, I should have showed you this from the back, but it does have a little baby sunroof. All right. Well, Casey, there is my video. If you have any additional questions or I might have missed something, feel free to reach out to me. Um, Jacqueline at Steamboat Motors, 970-778-2116. Thank you.